Hey guys. Um, so anyways, um, we've got all this glued on real nice. I'm going to go over that with other glue and textures just to get it decorated up. But today we're going to, um, since I glued this plastic piece on the bottom, um, this, these areas can be, um, adjusted. Well, this one, maybe not because it's all the way down the ground floor, but, um, I was thinking of cutting out these areas and we're going to use our hot wire foam cutter, um, just to get this a little bit more working. Guys will be able to duck under here too, during the game. And, uh, it should be it should be easier to uh get models to move around on this i give another once again just another layer of decoration now of course i'm doing all this to start here and i have no idea how easy this is going to be for me to actually get off the uh, plexiglass sheet. So we're going to see here in a second. Looks like it's going to be very easy at all. Um, one thing to remember with these guys, you want to make sure you cut off or you cut off, you wipe off. I'm using an old t-shirt here. And then we'll just shut this down while I'm messing around with this. Um, Oh, look at that. It should, it should pop right out of there. Okay, look at that. It worked out nice. You know, I'm not too worried. We got a little, little thing in here. I'm not too worried about any of that. Um, when we do the next sets of textures on it, this will make it a little easier to put models in there. Um, it'll also make it a little easier for me to add some decorations to things. So, and then we have this, which, you know, we save that. So let me get this back on here. Uh, let me do these guys real quick. Do, do, do. Uh, Yeah, it only takes a second to get this guy going. These little guys right here, these wand foam cutters, are kind of, well, they're lifesavers, really, to be honest. Um, you know, it gives you another option to be able to use uh, another uh, Ooh, that looks nice. Look at that. Now we're down here. Look at that. That looks really good. Actually, you know, it's interesting. I can probably... Dale, you could just burn this out. So save yourself a little bit of time here. Get a little weapons cache here. Have to use a knife and clean that out a little bit more. But now we'll go on to the uh, our next little bunch here.
you uh you know you do this kind of stuff and uh, you know everybody has their favorites to watch uh, work with things oh there's some extra glue here on the bottom And, you know, I have mine. Um, and Magra Theo is the one that kind of got me on this, using this as a, as a, uh, a method that I can add to my hive for more depth and texture. Um, I, I, I had never seen the hive as anything more than industrial plants and things like that until I'd seen that. And the entire concept of, well, hey, you know, stuff has been falling from the ceiling for, you know, thousands of years. That's a really cool, it's a really cool idea. My sump pieces um, that you guys will see later on. Um, one of the whole reasons that I started trying to video this stuff was because of the interest that I made in my sump wall last year. Um, and, uh, you know, all this stuff's useful for everybody. So I figured, you know, it's not that big of a deal to, to share it. Well, for me, it, Kind of is a little bigger deal than other people because I have no idea how computers work up until the last month, and then I uh, I have been teaching myself. So uh, I think I've said that more than once. Now you're probably all tired of hearing it, um, but uh, you know it's a thing. So. At this point, we got the doorway here. There's this stuff, which I'm trying to decide whether I'm going to cut off or not. Sorry. This stuff where the two pieces of foam board seamed and the glue came through. I like that look. Um, but there is a layer here. I think I'm going to use some patch um, to just patch that stuff up a little bit. Um Anyways, uh, I'm kind of pressed for time right now. There's a lot of things going on in real life that I have to, I have to deal with. So, okay, um, I'll be back uh, in a second. I think I just made my decision. I'm going to texture the bottom of this and show you guys what I do with that. Um, and then... Uh, then this part of the piece will have to dry for a few days, and then I can add the doorways here, and then start decorating all this, all these areas. So, uh, give me a sec; I'll be right back. So, anyways, um, first steps that we're uh, we're going to be doing is uh, gluing some bigger rocks, a uh, pile of rocks. Just you can find them outside, or you know, if you like to use some of the ones that are a little cleaner. Um, you know, get yourself a bag of rocks. You know, I've had this one for about, I don't know, two years now. And, you know, every once in a while when you need some rocks, you know, they're, they're, uh, they're a good thing to have just available. Just another thing, you know, that when you're, when you're doing this stuff, you can, you can use to build and just have on hand, because the more stuff you have on hand, the more stuff you can just do. You know, this stuff, it doesn't take an awful lot um, to add these textures to things. Um, and it's amazing how how much it, it helps. You know, and you do a little bit of... Oh, come on. Really? All right. What if we do that? And 
Now I'm going to be texturing in here too with rocks, but I'm going to do that on a different time frame. I'm kind of, I'm kind of getting getting a little bit of get of the hang of this, um, trying to figure out you know how I'm going to be doling these videos out, because um, I like making the videos. Um, they are extending my build time considerably. Um, I was hoping to be working on my sump wall piece by now, but, uh, you know, I mean, that's just how it goes. Uh, you know, and, and we're just, we're figuring things out. Um, you know, uh, just a little bit of this stuff. My uh, my children watched that first video and heard me complaining about how my glue is gone all the time. And hey, magically, uh, you know, several bottles of glue showed back up. You know, <laughs> I was pretty impressed. <laughs> now here we go, some glue on glue action right in here. That's a spot of the glue that I used to glue this uh, glue this piece up. Um, so we're just gonna we're gonna hide it underneath a rock. Worked out pretty good. Um, yeah, you know I think that's enough for the big rocks. Like I said, this is uh, this is just a little another step that I can add. It takes just a few minutes. Um, I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to pull out the sand texturing mix and uh, then we're, we're going to hit this and uh, I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so anyways, um, back to the old Elmers here. Um, and of course this is going to take longer because this thing has to go all the way to the bottom. And get out here. So we're going to texture the tile and the uh, adjoining um, the pink foam on the bottom there. And what we're going to do is we're going to start with just a little bit of glue like that. Now add some water. And then... What you're gonna do is, a lot of people start by adding a handful of sand there. Um, I like to stir it up first so that everything's a bit mixed up. And you're gonna be looking at a little bit of consistency like that. Now, Wow. Okay, so now you can add your sand. You can mix it up to whatever, however much, however thick you want it. Um, the thicker that you mix up, the more stirring you're going to have to do before application. Because, of course, all this goes right to the, you know, if I let it sit like that, it's just going to, all the sand's going to drop to the bottom and then you're going to be putting the pure glue on. Um which you can do that. That's a that that's that's a way to do it too. Um, I didn't have any sand when I did my first little coats on these guys. Um, but at this point, we're just going to be looking at just coating on the inside of everything here first. Now you want to try to. Thin this out. You can always add more at a later date. Because um, what ends up happening is if you get and you keep it too thick, um, then you get drips that come down and they show up. And when they start showing up, you got to, you know, cut them down and recarve and, and all that other stuff just to get that drip out of there. Um,
Now, some of you keen builders are a bit anal like I am, and I guess I can say I'm a little bit anal as far as I go. Notice that I'm leaving some, with a cheap brush like this, I'm leaving some brush strokes in there, or some bristles in there. And the other thing is, is that this part is still open. I haven't sealed that yet. Um, that will come. Um, I just, I don't want to do it at this stage because I still have some building I have to do on the bottom here. Uh, and as you can see, it's separated up. Now, you can also buy this stuff if you really want to. Um, so I did. Um, and I used this whole thing on two projects. I spent 15 bucks and I didn't finish it entirely. Um, I still had to... Now, I've mixed some already up in here. These also make great storage containers for this stuff, um, which is nice. One of the things that happens is this... The sand gets pulled up on the bottom there. Uh, you got to break that loose. But um, anyways, um, this is kind of my heavier texture. It's a nice thing that you can keep your heavier textures. And you keep your lighter textures here, um, you know, and just mix them up as you go. Now, this is doing quite a few things. Um... Well, and most importantly, one, it's adding texture to this, which is, you know, kind of a thing. What we're looking for, because I don't want it to look like foam. I want it to look like a piece of rock or wall piece that's fallen from above. Two, it's putting another layer of PVA over this, so it takes glue when I'm ready to do the decorating part. Um, and three... Um, it is just giving another added layer. Um, it doesn't take very long. Um, one of the nice things about doing things this way too is, you know, I, I work a lot and I only get so much time for these videos. And if you can just make this stuff because you got to wait for this anyways to dry. So why sit there and watch it dry? Just do it and then, you know, come back to it in a few days and she'll be ready to go. Like I've been doing. Um, but <sighs> this is just another thing that I can add because now that I've added this, when I do do the patch to get this up, um, I it, it sticks better. The sand's there. There's another texture there for it to stick to. Um, I haven't found anything bad by doing extra, extra coats of this stuff. As long as you keep it thin. If you keep it thick, well, then, yeah, they build up. It's all things that can't garner a bit of use. They get worn and, and everything else. Um, you know, this is this is one of the things that you need to do to get this ready to take spray paint too. I haven't decided how I'm going to, um, what are my first steps on this one? I do all kinds of different steps. Oh yeah, shoot buggered it up right there but yeah some of the dripping that I was talking about was just happening there and you know if you want to if you're if your project you want in a certain amount of time you know I, I used to do things like that um, I started getting irritated at the way my projects were turning out because things started looking rushed. Um, which, you know, hey, look at that. There's a little bit of stuff coming in anyways, naturally. How neat. Um, and like I said, you know, here, we're going to be working on this for 40 minutes. Uh, you know, or a little less than that. I don't know. A certain amount of time. You're getting this stuff done that you don't have to waste 
a full project time on. You know, I mean, I'm going to do this. And I'm not going to look at this thing for, you know, uh, for a little while. And uh, case in point later on when we do some painting and I pull the oils out, oils work exactly this way. Um, I have been on a large dive into oil-based paints over the last eight months. And uh, there's, there's quite a few things I've learned. I really like oils a lot. Um, you can do all kinds of things really quickly with it. A um, couple guys I pick stuff up off of, James Wapple, um, uh, Tabletop War James, another fantastic guy that uses oil-based paints, um, Cat or, or Cat, Cat and or Rabbit Studios, he's a great one for using oil-based paints. Um, Marco, Marco Fricone, Frisconi, Frisoni, <laughs> pronouncing his name wrong. I'm sorry, Marco. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm avid fans of all of them and have been doing a very, very, very deep in, uh, dive into, into oil-based paints and using them. But one of the things about oils is, and I found this out pretty quick, um, when you're doing base coats and stuff, it's best to just do them. Um, there's lots of steps that you can use to, to speed things along. But one of the nicest things about it is that you could do a whole bunch of stuff and then, you know, just let it dry. And it's not going to hurt anything. Um, oh, I'm getting off. I'm getting off here. I'm sorry, guys. I got lost. I'm so excited with using oil-based paints lately that um, <laughs> it's kind of kind of a thing. It's got me interested in painting models again, which that's that's a really big deal because for a while there I just didn't want to. So now I'm gonna delve into the the thicker stuff here. Like I said, I gotta. Uh, I gotta stir up the sand that's on the bottom there so we can make it nice and thick and dope. Kind of gloppy. And then we're gonna, we're gonna hit some other areas here. Now, this is gonna drip, but down on the bottom here, I'm not entirely sure I care. Um, uh, Oh, and one other thing. The reason I'm wearing gloves is I just didn't want to have to be stuck cleaning up the cleaning up the mess so much. So um, this is just white glue and sand. It's not going to hurt you. Um, just give those areas a little bit of a little bit more texture. Then after it dries, I have to make a decision as to whether I want to fill fill in that bottom part with some stuff. Not to mention the 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 split between the two pieces of foam. Um, sometimes when you do things like this, those things magically meld together as everything's drying. I'm kind of hoping for that a little bit on this this project because. While I would love to show you guys how to use caulk pack, pack, uh, <laughs> uh, caulk sealing, uh, that's kind of self-explanatory. You don't really need to see me do that. So, um, anyways, uh, thanks so much. Uh, I'm gonna let this dry for a few days, and I will be back. <laughs>